Prinzen, and uh, I'm here in Fairfield, California. I gotta tell you, this is my very first one, and excuse me, gotta take me a drink of my java. I didn't have any creamy this morning, I had to go to the store before I did this. Um, look, I'm blessed. I, I uh, got to hook up with Lauren. And I got to meet Abby and Dan and, and some very wonderful people this weekend in, in SoCal. I actually did a presentation down there in front of a, a high school uh, freshman class that uh, kind of sort of aren't going to make it. And uh, because of me and the program that I'm going to tell you about in a little bit, um, we were able to go down there and, and work on change. Uh, I am the founder of Me Inc. Now which stands for me expressing I need change now and uh, what we hope to do is once we get you because I'm gonna get you and when I get you I'm gonna help you now incorporate me because that's what this is all about and even for me this morning you know I, I deleted this a couple times I, I pushed the button because it didn't look right uh, my other half she she did it and, and, and it didn't look right and and uh, you know, I gotta have me another sip of coffee, and uh, so, wow. So I'm like struggling with this, right? And so I got a hold of Lauren like three o'clock in the morning. You know, he was down in Southern California, and I'm like, you know, it's like I have the gift of gab. Uh, the principal this weekend or Friday when I was at the high school speaking and and my dad said yeah my father uh, my son he's put a lot into this and and a whole lot of the kids didn't show up that we thought were going to show up so it wasn't as powerful but it is powerful because if we can just touch one one turns into two turns into a five five turns into a hundred you know what I mean it's me ink now dropping that droplet of love into the pond and it exploding out and reaching other people so here I am struggling this morning and then I'm, and I'm like tripping because I'm not used to this I'm not used to putting my face in front of a camera I'm used to going on a stage or in a classroom with a dry ease board and, and I write stuff and and uh, and I just let it go and I let it go from my heart so the first thing I thought this morning excuse me after I get me some more Java <laughs> this is for you Lauren this is my cup. I actually got it in Texas because you know everything grows big in Texas. But no, so so here I am struggling with this, and I just thought your program, Chuck, is about me. You know, it's about learning how to be me, open up, you know, and 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 just be yourself and let it come from your heart. And so I, I went, well, I got this. But here's the bummer. I'm all ready to go. I got a hold of Lauren again, like for the 20th time. And I said, okay, man, we ready to go. We are ready to go. And and I went to go get my coffee because I've been gone for the weekend. There's no creamer. Look, I can't start this thing without some of my morning java. You see this? One of these every day for 365 days to kickstart my day. But look, so here's, here's the thing. Me, Ink Now is about cycles it's about showing the generations when you finally get it that we are a cycle or a trait from the generation before us and the generation before them and the generation before them and if if it's cool if it's a positive cycle you know like like uh, uh thanksgiving like Halloween dressing up, the Easter Bunny bouncing around, or, or you know, uh, even the Tooth Fairy, then <clears throat> we have to be able to be me. And and the generation before us, such as for me, I'm supposed to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 62 years old. I just recently retired. I have my coach's shirt on from one of my many uh, coaching experiences I've had over the last 40 something years. I just got done with my girls basketball, eighth grade girls basketball, and we we uh, had a pretty good season. We went eight and five. So I decided to put this on and get like in the in the flow. You know what I mean? But if the cycles before us are of a negative, for me, I had a very abusive stepfather, very abusive. Uh, he did things to me and my mother that I really don't want to talk about right now. But the, the bottom line is I learned about cycles. I went to 18 elementary schools, 9 junior high schools, 
one high school. I got adopted when I was 16 when I ran away. And a beautiful Japanese widowed lady adopted me with two dogs. Mm -hmm. and, and it was it was beautiful. Um, but look, um, <clears throat> the cycles for me, abuse, alcoholism, drugs, suicidal, I'm illiterate. You figure 18 elementary schools in the prime of your life, you're moving around three times a, a year. I know what an adjective is. I know what a pronoun is. I know what this is, but I don't know how to put it together. I really don't know how to spell. So all these cycles that we go through our life and we just go through our life and don't really know what's going on. We're just living life every day, like Groundhog's Day, you know. But one day I was 26 years old and I, and, uh, I was throwing my stepdaughter across the room. Wow. And something hit me. So I went and I seeked help. And the guy told me, he says, you, uh, you have traits. And I said, what's a trait? And he explained to me that if you're around something long enough for any period of time, then it's going to come out. And he said, your stepdad is coming out. Whoa, 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 whoa. My mother died on Mother's Day, 1979, at 44 years old because she couldn't break away from that. Oh, is that domestic violence I get to talk about also? So all these things. And so I thought to myself, wow. So cycles is what I call them. Whether they're positive or negative, we have them from the generations before us. When we find out about them, whether positive or negative, and we decide to change them, so one day I'm thinking, I'm going, wow, this is pretty cool. Me, Inc., now, I'll put it together. Because if you incorporate me every single day, and you think about me, not that you disrespect or, or, or don't love, because I certainly love, then it's still about me. And you can't take care of one, two, three, until you take care of the first one, which is me. So we start off like zero, right? Um, and me is very important. It's very strong. <clears throat> so about eight years ago, I moved to Northern California. Uh, I've been in Fairfield, California. I just retired from uh, seven years as a campus supervisor, football coach, track coach, girls basketball coach, uh, whatever, and 100% and retired, and I want to work on this program. I, I've been dreaming about this, or I promised God at three years old when I had a conversation with him that, that just let me get old. And if you let me get old, I will make it right. Lauren, I, I'm not going to get emotional, but God gave you to me, and I'm, I'm so thankful that, that you see something in me. You see that diamond in there that, that has this rock around it that you can get to. And you know you can get to it because you invited me in. So to all my rock star family members, man, I'm blessed. But <clears throat> So I moved up here eight years ago. Here's the catch. I am reunited with my very first girl. My girlfriend, very first, if you know what I'm talking about. And we had a child. I was 17 and my baby was 14, or excuse me, 15. And life took us in different directions. Life, the game, the cycles, whatever. And uh, because my father is 83 years old and he's never in his life saw his father. My father didn't claim me for a while. So I was kind of sort of like didn't really know I had a, a father. So there's a cycle there. And everybody has to sit there and check that cycle. So anyhow, I moved up here. And uh, I got a second chance with my baby. Catherine Kahala Mapuana Mumi, husband passed away. I went through a divorce and God reunited us 33 years later. We are the notebook times five. And I'm blessed every single day to have that second chance because I changed. I understood the changes that I needed to make. And I made them. And I dropped all kinds of them. Look, I've been so blessed to be able to go to a Soledad prison, uh, speak on uh, NASCA in front of a whole lot of uh, abused adult survivors of abuse. 
uh, foster uh, foster uh, leader movement where because I am a two-time foster child uh, I'm involved in that so and then I go to schools and I speak so it's like this is a trip and I'm gonna end real soon because I don't I'll do this forever now that I know how to do this it's like put me up on a stage in front of other coaches and, and my head coach used to take this laser because I was like the JV head coach at that time and and if I he felt like I was like going overboard he would laser tag me like okay time to shut down but I can talk a lot because I express my love for for life 62 years old I made it and to be reunited with the second chance and she knows the person that I was to the person that I am now and the reason why is because I decided to change many of those cycles in my life that affected me and so me ink now me expressing I need change now is ready to jump in this game or this this uh, opportunity to help others within my new rock star family that being said my baby's from Hawaii so you hear me talking Hawaiian a lot, aloha, whatever, mahalo, which is thank you for allowing me to do this. Um, I'm going to say ahui ho kako, which you may or may not have heard before, but ahui ho kako means until we meet again. And I truly pray, my brothers and my sisters, that we have an opportunity uh, to actually physically see each other one day so I can give you a big Hawaiian hug. That being said, aloha my brothers and sisters and I'll talk to you later if I know how to turn this thing off. God bless.